Good morning, everyone. So we're, um, we're in AEP, and I just have another story I wanted to share with you about a client who called me up. Um, a lot of my clients <clears throat> are, they like the hustle and bustle of AEP. So they'll go to the seminars, they'll go to those meetings, and they'll go to those larger group meetings, and then they'll tell me their opinions. And it's very interesting because the one benefit that my client told me that they wanted to change because was actually lower than she thought and the plan that she currently was on actually had a similar benefit to the one that she was looking for. So, what am I trying to say? The important thing you have to try and do, and this is with anything in general when it comes to like having a meaningful discussion is to get under why someone thinks the way that they do so for this person it was the vision benefit and then you gotta gotta peel back the layers of why that's so important to them right because as someone who does this for a living I, I can see like yeah, this benefit, I mean, it's flashy, but it's not worth anything, you know? On the grander scheme of things, having the hospital in network is probably a bigger weighted metric than whether or not your plan offers you $100 of glasses benefit, right? But that's kind of where she was going. <clears throat> and you kind of have to peel back why that is. I found out that it was because she had to buy glasses this year and it costed her $500 and that hurt, you know, $500 is a lot of money. So she wanted to get on a plan that potentially would pay her or would pay for more. Unfortunately, she, there wasn't, the plan she was looking at did not pay any more. Um, but I did, I was able to find a plan that paid more for glasses and also that had all of her doctors in network, so she was happy. But that's why you have to kind of establish or find out what people are interested in, not what everyone is interested in, but the person you are talking to is interested in, which is why it's very important for people, us as Medicare uh, advisors or Medicare insurance agents, to find out exactly what the person you are talking to is looking at. Because many times, what they're looking at can be something completely different than what we are looking at. You know? Like, the reasons why, like, when they asked, when she asked me, hey, what do you think about this plan? I had to just stop and say, well, first, as these plans are very similar, I want to find out why you think this other plan is better. And then we got into that. And then we started leveling the playing field by talking about everything, you know, that is important to her. And then, and then we were able to push it to the point of, okay, well, now we know what's important to you. Let's go ahead and look at the plans that have the benefits that you're looking for. And then we can boil it down into what is actually a plan that's right for you next year. So, sometimes, like I always say this, and I've even written a book about this, you're the most efficient and effective and meaningful way that you can find a plan for someone is by finding out what they need first. Then you go into, oh, okay, th these benefits are going to be what you're looking for. This plan has all the things that you're looking for. It might not have this or this, but for the most part, the important things that are important to your client are covered, right? All right. So with that said, um, as I battled the glare again this morning, I will see you in the next video. Do good things, help as many clients as you can, and I'll see you later.